This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at VSEPR theory. Valence shell electron pair repulsion theory is used to predict the geometry or shape of molecules. Electron pairs, that's bonds or lone pairs of electrons, repel each other and spread apart as far as possible. Here we have the order of repulsion. The greatest repulsion is between lone pairs of electrons and the least repulsion is between bonding pairs of electrons. The term electron domain is used to refer to bonds or lone pairs of electrons around an atom in a molecule. Single bonds, double bonds, triple bonds and lone pairs of electrons count as one electron domain. So here we have the Lewis structure for CH4 which is methane. Around the central carbon atom there are four electron domains which are four bonding domains. Here we have the Lewis structure for H2O. Around the oxygen atom there are four electron domains. There are two bonding domains and two lone pairs of electrons. On the right we have the Lewis structure for CO2 carbon dioxide. Around the carbon atom there are two electron domains which are both bonding domains. We'll start by looking at molecules with four electron domains around the central atom. Here we have the Lewis structure for CH4 methane. Methane has four bonding domains, zero lone pairs of electrons, the electron domain geometry is tetrahedral, the molecular geometry is tetrahedral, and the bond angle is 109.5 degrees. So here we have our 3D model of methane, the electron domain geometry and the molecular geometry are both tetrahedral and the bond angle is 109.5 degrees. Next we look at ammonia. Here we have the Lewis structure for ammonia. Ammonia has four electron domains with three bonding domains and one lone pair of electrons. The electron domain geometry is tetrahedral, the molecular geometry is trigonal pyramidal and the bond angle is 107.8 degrees. Next we look at H2O. Here we have the Lewis structure for H2O. It has four electron domains around the oxygen atom, two bonding domains and two lone pairs of electrons. The electron domain geometry is tetrahedral, the molecular geometry is bent and the bond angle is 104.5 degrees. Water has a bent shape due to the extra repulsion from the two lone pairs of electrons on the oxygen atom. Next we look at BF3 which is boron trifluoride. Here we have the Lewis structure for BF3. It has three electron domains around the boron atom which are three bonding domains. It has zero lone pairs of electrons. The electron domain geometry is trigonal planar. The molecular geometry is also trigonal planar and the bond angle is 120 degrees. Next we look at SO2 which is sulfur dioxide. Here's the Lewis structure of SO2. It has three electron domains around the sulfur atom, two bonding domains and one lone pair of electrons. The electron domain geometry is trigonal planar, the molecular geometry is bent and the bond angle is less than 120 degrees. The bond angle is less than 120 degrees because of the extra repulsion from this lone pair of electrons on the sulfur atom. And finally we have carbon dioxide. Here we have the Lewis structure for carbon dioxide. It has two electron domains around the central carbon atom which are both bonding domains. It has zero lone pairs of electrons. The electron domain geometry is linear. The molecular geometry is also linear and the bond angle is 180 degrees. Let's end with a summary. This table summarizes the electron domain geometries, the molecular geometries and the bond angles that you need to know for standard level chemistry.